Hi guys, welcome to this session. My name is Rahul from Team Cloudy ML. Today I'm going going to discuss one problem statement from the company Array Cart, and they asked me one machine learning interview question. Basically, the problem statement they gave me was completely practical based. They asked me how will you scale the features in the range of zero to ten? Show us by implementing it on any data set. So they didn't give me any data set. They just asked me whatever I can use to implement. How will I basically scale the features in the range zero to ten? Normally we scale it to zero to one. So I was kind of thinking how to do it for zero to ten. But the one uh, thing was like they let me uh, do Google on this because normally we don't memorize the steps of how to import some inbuilt data set and then. And then basically even uh, implement it, you know, the library of pre-processing. So the problem statement how I approached is like uh, I I imported the data set from SQLearn the data set and I used load Boston data set. It's it's a it's a housing data set. So when you basically load it, when you basically load it, you can see that uh, uh, you can see that it has. Uh, Output like this, and it has a description like it has the complete data set in in the form of a dictionary in the key form key value pair, and it has description, uh, data basically well uh, all features, and then uh, feature names and, and uh, file name and target values. So I I I kind of did it in a, in a in a way where I first created the data frame. I imported the pandas, then I use the pd dot data frame method. I pass data dot data since data dot data uh, describes all the all the features and its their values, all the columns. And uh, you can see that when I converted it, it looks nice. It has approximately three, six, nine, well, thirteen, thirteen uh, features. And you can see that that uh, all columns have their own range of values. Crim column has uh, like pretty low values. Then if you look at like text, it has text, and B column has high range values. And uh, it was a good data set to show me that how can I scale it. Then I imported a min max scalar uh, from SQLearn dot pre processing, and just let me show you its documentation so it has this feature feature it has this option para it has this parameter like you can use it feature range and by default it scales your value in the 0 to 2, 1 value and uh, but if you change it uh, it will do um, whatever range you want so uh, interviewer had asked me to Keep in the range of zero to ten, so I use this parameter, and uh, you can see that how this transformation basically happens. This is the formula it uses in the backend, and uh, even like let's say you don't know how to implement this, you can simply check this example here. You first instantiate minmax scalar, and then you call fit transform. You can simply call fit transform directly to get the output. And that's what I did it here. I inst I instantiated minmax scalar, and then I passed that I want it in the range of zero to ten, and then I called fit transform just to show you the output like this. You can see, and then I simply saved it in a variable scaled, and then I converted back into data frame using uh, uh, by passing its feature names. And now just to show you that, just to show the even interviewer that how it worked to pr prove that my all columns has a min max value zero to ten. I I did it on crim column. I called dot max method and then I showed that my maximum value is ten. Same for crim and the same you can check for text because text and b column had a pretty high value. So I can simply show basically dot max. It has also maximum ten value, and and here 
it has also minimum value so it shows that uh, how feature scaling worked and uh, how i can keep any range i want whether it's 0 to 1 or 0 to 10 and that's how i implemented it uh, at the time so sometimes it may possible your interviewer say that you 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 better avoid doing google so if you uh, have done some practice you know uh, how to basically do this it's not that difficult but most probably i think uh, uh, you will have the freedom to use google so guys i hope you like this video so if you like this please uh, subscribe our channel and keep in touch for further updates and if you like the content uh, i would like to show you that uh, we have uh, great courses on our platform uh, it's cloudyml.com and you can buy our complete data science package where you will have uh, content from the scratch it's completely assignment based learning system you will have python machine learning sql mass stats for data science so just have a look you can see the feedback by our learners uh, you will surely love it so thank you guys